concludes our uh, new business section. Uh, the chair will now will go into the council reports. Does any member of council wish to be recognized for the purpose of a report? Chair recognizes the spender on this council. Okay, I'm not ready. Spender? Um, just two things. Um, I just received the Partnership Gwinnett newsletter for um, first quarter 2011. Partnership Gwinnett is an outgrowth of the Chamber of Commerce, and um, they are charged with creating economic development or, or doing economic development for Gwinnett County. They go out all over the world, actually, um, developed a lot of ties with China, and have worked to bring in jobs and businesses to Gwinnett. Um, in the past, the city has not had a great um, working relationship with Partnership Gwinnett. Um, in the past, we were only able to get through on the budget one year of sponsorship um, for Partnership Gwinnett. But since we've um, had brought on our economic development director um, and we've renewed relationships with them, and I just wanted to share with you one of the things that was actually in their first quarter report because it mentions the Evermore CID in the City of Snellville Small Business uh, EIE project, the Evermore Community Improvement District, the City of Snellville, and the Economic Development Department of the Gwinnett Chamber have teamed up to launch an initiative aimed at bringing renewed engagement with the business community in the city and CID. The EIE project is an exploratory effort to understand what small businesses in Snellville's Highway 78 corridor need to succeed and thrive. Partnership Gwinnett and the Gwinnett Chamber of Commerce uh, Economic Development Department will meet with small business owners in hopes to educate local businesses, inform local businesses, and engage the businesses. Um, so I just wanted to, to point this out to everyone that there are a lot of things working right now in the city to engage our partners uh, in our region, in the county, a lot of things that, that haven't been really visible at this point. But I just want to mention that, you know, through uh, Eric and the economic development opportunities that we have going on now, that, that we're creating better relationships um, and we're expanding the reach of the city. And hopefully, we will get Partnership Gwinnett also more in tune with what our needs are here in South Gwinnett County. Um, the one other thing I would just like to um, say is there was a, a really good article in the AJC. I think it was today, or maybe it was in yesterday's paper, about the town center initiative and the vision. And um, and there were, have been some other postings also out on the internet. And um, of course, with all of the positive, you always wind up with um, someone who's not supportive of, of something. And a few of the comments that I've seen in the past few weeks are that this is just a dream until you have money. Um, there's been comments made that we don't have money in the budget. And, um, and, and I agree with those comments. But what people need to understand is that what we've done in creating this vision and working so hard and engaging so many people in the process is that we have a dream and it's not finished yet. That was just the first part of it. We had to get the dream, we had to get the vision before we could even start talking about funding, before we could even start talking about visioning. How do we, I mean, we already ran into this last year. We had an opportunity of $6.6 .6 million in bond funding but we had no idea what to spend it on. And we pulled the plug on that because we had funding, we didn't have a dream. Now we have the dream. Now we can start approaching funding and figuring out the actual hard steps on what we do. And I, I had this quote popped up today and uh, I thought it fit perfectly with what we're doing. It's by Henry David Thoreau. And it says, if you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost now put foundations under them. So our next steps are to find those foundational points. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bender. Ms. Couch? Ms. Mayor. Um, first of all, I want to clarify, in the work session, I volunteered uh, and needed to take over the snow days parade and breakfast. Um, in doing that, I in no way meant to insinuate that our volunteers weren't excellent volunteers, that they weren't hardworking, um, that our staff for Melissa and Karen are out there Friday afternoon, Saturday morning, Sunday. Um, Lisa's 
running around the park um, all day long is my intent to volunteer because when when you when you complain that you don't want something to happen and I don't want the parade to be canceled, you really don't have the right to complain about it unless you're willing to do something about it. And I'm willing to step up, not because I don't think people are doing a good job, but because I don't want it to be a burden on staff. Um, so I just want to clarify I was not trying to insinuate uh, by any means that someone was not doing a, a, an excellent job on snowball days. And I, I do appreciate all of our volunteers and our staff's hard work. Um, I'd like to congratulate all of the graduates. Uh, this past weekend was uh, DeKalb County's graduations, and I know this week is Gwinnett County's graduations. Uh, so good luck to all the seniors out there. Hopefully with some of the new business ideas, they'll be returning to Snellville. Um, and I also want to thank uh, Ms. Johnson and her staff. We had the opening of the, uh, sorry, sorry. We had the opening of the Public Works building, and it is a beautiful facility. Um, it doesn't look like Public Works at all. It's very clean. I'm very surprised to we'll come back in a few months and see if it looks the same way. Um, they gave us cute little trucks, which I have in my, in my office on my bookcase. So, so thank you for putting that on and for the barbecue and, and for the, um, the momento. momento. Um, I want to respond to Ms. Bender's comments because I was the one quoted in the AJC um, that this is just a dream uh, regarding the town center project. And that's true. At this point in time, it is a dream and it is a vision. Um, but in no way was I negative uh, towards the town center project. I think I, I've, I've come out with support for it. Um, however, what I want to make clear is when council member Witz and myself were at the Snowball Days booth, uh, one of the things, everybody that, that saw the vision was in support of it. Everybody loved the renderings. Uh, but one of the comments that was continuously asked and one of the things that was asked um, by the reporter is where are you going to build this and where is it going to be built? You know, when are we going to see this construction? When are we going to break ground on this? And the reality is, right now we're on our first step. This is a this is a dream. It is a vision. It's what we hope to build, um, but we don't have funding, and, and that is the next step. And that's going to be a challenge, uh, not only for us as a council, but for our community. Um, and I hope to see that come to fulfillment. Um, I disagree with what Mayor Pro Tem Bender has said that before we didn't have a dream, um, we had funding but no dream. I think we've always had a dream in the city. Um, I supported the Spawn Town project when it was going to develop the town center area. Um, so we've always had some project of some sort, and I think this council, whether or not we supported the particulars of it, the council and previous councils have always supported some type of a town center here in Snellville. Uh, the funding, the $6 million didn't work out because that was, those were stimulus bonds. Uh, that was not money that the city actually had uh, the funds to repay at that point in time. It was something that the council as a whole agreed was not a wise decision for us to pursue, uh, regardless if we had that vision or not. Uh, finally, I would like to say thank you for all of the veterans who have served our country. Um, this weekend is Memorial Day, and I'd ask all of you to remember them. Uh, I think we're going out on graves uh, to put flags on the graves of fallen veterans. Um, you know, with this article that's come out from the AJC, it's amazing. It's, you can tell it's an election year in Snellville. The blogs have started going back and forth on the comments. And it always amazes me um, that there's a group of people here in Snellville that if you disagree with their opinion or you disagree with their comments, you're in the wrong. And um, they always like to talk about diversity in our city. Well, diversity is not just ethnic diversity. It's diversity in opinions. And one of the things that our military fights for, has fought for in the past and continues to fight for, um, is diversity of ideas and opinions. And it's through, those free, it's through that free debate and those open-minded people and those opinions, difference of opinions, uh, that we arrive at the best decisions. And so as this Memorial Day comes, I ask you to respect each other's mm -hmm. opinions and to carry on uh, open-minded and not to necessarily bash those around you that have different opinions. Thank you, Ms. Cass. Mr. Woods. As a veteran, Ms. Uh, Wells, thank you. Um, I'd like to uh, talk about the article on AJC today. There was also another article on, uh, on at Snowball Patch, and Joy Woods, I see it's here, and I believe that Joy Woods authored that piece about uh, new businesses coming to Snowball. 20 new businesses per month are getting uh, new business licenses here in the city of Snowball. That's a phenomenal figure in this economy. Um, some of the comments in that article were that 
We love the we love the traffic. We love the area. And by traffic, I mean people traffic, not the vehicles. Just to be clear on that. But also that uh, the warmth of the people and how welcoming the people are here. I think we all know that that's that's true. And now um, other people are saying it. I would just like you to think about this past week and all the all the good articles that were on read about snowfall, especially the farmers market last weekend. I don't think there was a day last week that there wasn't an article on major publication about our farmers market. And then uh, this this past weekend we have the article on taxes, article on HAC. Two years ago it was toilets and toilet art. So we've come a long way in two years. And we got a long way to go. And I want to thank all of you for coming and know that um, there was a time of the miscalculation, meeting. I'm trying to respond to them. I'm sorry, I forgot what it was, so I'm going to let her off the hook on that one. But um, I wish I could remember what it was. But anyway, a lot of good things are happening in Snowball. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone for participating in it and all the volunteers that are here with us. Thank you, Mr. Woods. Mr. Warner, you're the other one. You want to say anything? You don't have to. Well, you know me. I know. That's I, why I, I have to say something. Um, well, a lot of talk about the uh, new downtown development that we're, we're hoping to get engaged. And I think I alluded before that I'm on the Snellville Urban Redevelopment Authority. That means I'm tasked with making sure that if someone comes into the city and wants to develop, I'm going to be one of those people who's going to help them overcome the hurdles, find the financing, and find a way to make it happen. And myself and the mayor and currently Mr. Witz are on that um, board. And it is our, our task to make sure that we, we throw open the doors wide. And we're, we will be the tools that will help move that thing forward. Does that mean we're going to dig into our pockets? No. That doesn't mean we're going to dig into your pockets either. But we're going to be looking at ways to make sure that the bright future that we have envisioned for the city actually happens. And that's one of the reasons they needed a way to get me off the board. Um, on a lighter note, on a personal note, uh, today was awards day at my children's school. And one of my daughters received a national award for, uh, I wish I knew the exact terms, for the mathathon, she and another boy in her class ranked in the top 11 in the nation as far as quickly answering math problems online. Evidently, it's, it's actually worldwide. And uh, I was very, very proud of her for that. Um, particularly since she struggled mightily in math coming into this year. And she had a, a, a great teacher. Um, Ms. Jennifer New, who really made a difference. And the other thing is, my older daughter, Carrie Ann, um, received an award for principal's list, which is kind of like dean's list, except she's only in middle school, so she doesn't have a dean yet, which is for students that have a grade average for the year of 93 and above. And we were extremely proud to see her do that today. Thank you, Mr. Warner. That concludes our council reports. I will now go to the mayor's report.